Hey, hey, everybody. Rochelle Plumstead here, Remax East Coast Elite. Thanks for joining me for this week's Moving Up Minute. Last week, we touched on easements and right-of-ways as potential restrictions with a property that you're buying or selling. And that kind of opened up a can of worms because there's a lot of different potential restrictions with properties. So this week, I want to talk about waterfront because in New Brunswick, we're very, very fortunate to have a lot of waterfront property, whether it be on a lake a river, the ocean, stream, pond, brook, whatever it might be, there's a lot of waterfront. And that's highly desirable for a lot of people for recreational reasons like swimming or boating, or it could be for fishing, it could be just watching the wildlife. Keep in mind, much of our waterfront does have restrictions to it. What do I mean? If it's on the river, it could have an MB Power easement on it, similar to a power line. And that means that MB Power owns the, the water line up into your property. So what does that mean? Well, you cannot put a permanent structure there. You cannot put a fence, uh, a boathouse, a gazebo. You cannot put those things on that property. It's illegal. If it's, let's say it's a pond and you love watching the ducks, that could be designated wetland. So that also comes with restrictions. Perhaps it's on a lake and it's got a bunch of that yucky eel grass leading into the water. You might not be able to just go in there with an excavator, suck it all back out to make yourself a nice beach. So if you're looking at waterfront and you want it for a certain reason, make sure you're doing your research before you buy it. Talk to your realtor, look on Geo New Brunswick, find out what restrictions may or may not be in place before you place your offer. Next week, I'll touch on another one. If you're moving up, moving over, moving out, you've got questions, I've got answers. This is for you, Poopsie. Bye for now. Have a great weekend.